Rice zoomed ahead of the 20 crore mark on the first as well as the second day and the makers were confident that Sunday would be no different. However, with a couple of matches and tough competition from Kabul, things didn't seem to move in the right direction and the fifth day collection halted at 17.80 crore. Still within five days, the film has managed to garner 93.24 crore, which could easily have surpassed the 125 crore mark if it didn't have to compete and share space with Kabul. With two major holidays and an extended weekend run, both the films have done stupendously well at the box office and now it will be novel collections as usual. There are speculations that Rais will cross the lifetime collections of SRK's Dilbali, which has earned 148 crore, but the final numbers are yet to come in. With no big release lined up for the second week, let us see how the film fares in the coming days. What's your prediction? Let us know in the comments section. So the secret is out. How Kabul scored so well in the box office from day one. Yes, apparently it has brought in around 67 crores since its day of release. So what is the big secret? Well, nothing much. It is just following a T20 cricket match pattern. Battling consistently for the first 17 overs, read it as 17 days instead of trying to hit only 4s and 6s and get out. Yes, come February 10th and it would be Akshay at the box office with his very entertaining role in Jolly LLB 2. Trailers do show a masala packed flick so Kabul has time till then. Till then, Kabul is consistently following the practice of everyday mula, and it has done that till today. The story of a visually impaired jury took many back to the days of Sanjeev Jaya star of Koshish and has nudged the emotions of many. Obviously, it is gonna rake in more mula if it follows the T20 pattern. What is your opinion? Do let us know.